how to blur out one or more objects inside DaVinci Resolve version 18. First I will show a quick way and then we will get into more details. So come here to the color tab and make sure you are on this one which is called window. Let's click on let's say linear and this rectangle will be blurred out and I want to blur out let's say that one so position it on top of that one. Now grab the right side more exactly the white dot and move it let's say there white dot also and move it somewhere there okay this one was modified that's why it has a red dot now we have to go to the next one which is blur and the radius has to be modified if i drag it up notice it's blurred out and if i drag it down it is the opposite it's even sharper so i want to blur so let's move it up so blur was also modified and thus it has a red dot now let's get to the third one which is called tracker and use this one which is track forward and reverse okay and wait until it finishes tracking and after the rectangle gets out from the view tracking should automatically stop and it stopped and it jumped to the first frame by the way if it doesn't stop you can stop it from this pause sign but you cannot stop it from that stop sign okay now let's analyze it a little bit drag that red one and see if it's okay it's mostly okay but here at the end it remains slightly on the visible area. By the way, let's go back with this arrow exactly to that keyframe. It went there. Okay, and you can move this area with the scroll wheel if you push down the scroll wheel. So don't rotate it, but push it down. Okay, and from this point, let's go slightly forward. And if I do a modification, let's say I bring it down. Then when I go back, Notice it's down here also, so it's not covering that sign, but it's down. And if I go even further back, push down the scroll wheel, it's down there also. And that's because clip is selected. So if you want to adjust it just in a certain portion, you have to use frame. So let's undo it, Control Z, it goes back exactly there. Click on frame, and now let's say somewhere there, move it up drag it down so it will not be on the visible area and since we are using frame when we go to the next keyframe that keyframe's position is not modified so it's covering the blur is covering the sign and that's fine and when it goes to the last keyframe it goes totally out from the visible area so it's not blurring out anything now that's fine now let's get back to the beginning and by the way to recenter this one you can go here and fit uh, z is the hotkey so press z on the keyboard and it goes here now to blur let's say another object in this case let's blur a person we have to add another node here to the right side so these are the nodes nodes are not shown and nodes are shown to add another node press alt and s on the keyboard alt s it adds another serial node which one is red that is selected since the second one is selected notice the selection of the first blurring is not visible and if i go there on the first node it is visible so since we are on the second one we can add another one same thing window this time let's use a circle position it over a person let's say you can use the corner also now to the second one blur increase the blur we just blur that person to the third one which is the tracker and this time from the beginning i will use frame and if you want to make it even faster uncheck this 3d if the objects are being rotated to the left to the right then it's okay to leave it checked but since now the drone is only going up and down we don't need 3d so it will track it faster and track it forward and backward and it's even faster but it's bad and we have to adjust it now let's see how to do that so here it's already above the person move it on the person it automatically added a keyframe and before it's fine it's even lower okay and here it's okay and then it's too high push down the scroll wheel and that lower person was blurred it's okay and then it should go out let's say already here and that last keyframe we don't need that one so let's go here to the three dots 
and delete keyframe it will delete only that one so let's check it the blur gets closer to the person the blur is on the person press z to show everything and as we can see the blur stays on that person so that's how to blur out multiple objects inside DaVinci Resolve version 18. If you want to blur out another person or another sign, just press Alt S on the keyboard at the window, blur it and track it and select frame. And on the frame, you can adjust the position of the blurring for each keyframe.